Hello, this is Rich, and today is going to be a very, very quick tutorial because my internet today is very slow and it would take a very, very long time to upload an even small, small file. But today is going to be about disabling the main player character uh, for your RTS game so you don't have that player character there. First thing you're going to want to do is go up to your levels or whatever, go to AI, sorry, game. Edit equipment packs, make sure you go to your single player and multiplayer, every single one of these except for the AI here. And uh, use your equipment, bring them over. So before it would look something like this, go ahead and click it and then uh, remove uh, that from it. And go ahead and close that. Make sure you load your scripts. Just like that. After you've done that, go ahead to your CryEngine build and uh, go to Game. And make sure you extract all of these pack files, every single one. <clears throat> go to Game, Scripts, Entities, Actor, Player, dot Lua. This is the top of the scripts here, the top. Um, right here, you're going to see File Model, Client File Model, FP Item Hands Model, Object Frozen Model. And go ahead, and this is going to be a long list of. Uh, things that are inside these quotes, go ahead and delete everything in the quotes so that it's file model equals opening and closing, client file model, opening and closing, client uh, FP item hands model, opening and closing, object file, frozen model, opening and closing, and just get rid of all those model files there. Go ahead and resave it. After you've done that, go ahead and open up your uh, CryEngine solution here and um, once you're in that, go ahead and right click, make sure you build your solution, and then uh, test it. And, and these, these steps are needed. Uh, they may not seem needed, but they are. Um, sometimes taking that player.lua file uh, can give you a little, little bit of trouble, so that's why you got to rebuild your solution and also uh, click play. Now I'm going to go to the um, forest here. Just got a regular old error there. Don't worry about it. Stop it. Then play. That's expected when you pl change that player.lua file. Um, and you could get errors here and there. But go ahead and try it again until it works. It could take a couple of times. Don't do this in the editor. You got to make sure it works in the launcher first. Um, okay. So keep going. Try it again. That's fine. Come on, come on, I can't take much time on this. Oh. <clears throat> It re-exported the level, uh, the forest demo. Let me just try the other one here. Gonna try my other map. And uh, I'm in my level here. I don't have a terrain. I don't have a starter starter thing. Or so you can see I'm at zero 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 position here. Um, I can't move my uh, 
I don't have an RTS camera, by the way, this is default. I don't have my RTS camera source code in this. Um, but here you go. Um, we are in the, in the world. We don't have a player model at all. We don't even have the um, gun or anything like that. I can't move, I can't rotate, nothing like that because the player is completely gone. Um, when you have your RTS camera in there, you'll be able to move your camera and stuff like normal. But that's how you get rid of the actual players. You delete the player models and then you take out all the equipment. And they have no player. Thank you very much. I hope this helped.